we have done electric field in previous lectures and we understand electric field is a property of medium around us and it is spread all over it. But uh, when we want to think about it, when we want to visualize it, uh, somewhere we fail. It gives a very hazy picture that how I should think what is electric field, where it is, how it is working. So for that, uh, we again think for our usual methods of expression. How do we understand the things? The answer is we express ourselves either by speech or by making pictures. Either we make the speech or we use body language or we write pictures. Like if I want to communicate something and what is that something? I make a picture here and you will understand what is that something. Yes, this is a picture. But I and you, we have agreed that this picture has a particular meaning. So, we understand it. So, making a picture is a representation of something else. This is not a mango. But this represents a something which we all know what is mango. So, making a picture on the paper, on the board like this. What is this? This is writing. This is drawing. This is graphology. We make a graph. So, in physical quantities, normally we make graph to represent relation between two quantities. Similarly, if we draw something on the board, on the paper, we can take its help to explain something. So, we have also tried that electric field concept should be represented by making a picture. So, that is a pictorial representation of electric field we want to show you. What do we want to show you? If you say at this point, what is electric field? So, I, my picture will show you that at this point, what is the strength of the magnetic field? What is the direction of the magnetic field? And how it is going? So, these two, three properties, electric field is a vector quantity. If it is a vector quantity, it has got two characteristics. One is its magnitude and that magnitude we say intensity and other thing it has is direction. So, I want to represent both the things, how much is intensity, how much is direction by making graph, graphical lines, these. Now, by seeing these lines, I can tell you how much is the or what is the direction of electric field here? What is the direction of electric field here? How whether this is stronger electric field or this is stronger electric field? I can make these comparisons. So, these lines, these lines are virtual. These are imaginary lines. So, I will write it imaginary lines which represent electric field at a location. Are electric field lines. And these lines we draw. Okay. So, this is concept of electric field lines and understand these are imaginary. There are no real lines as such. Only by seeing this drawing, we can make out the things like we are making out by writing many other things. It should give us two things very clear. Now, we, after this, we will see how do they, uh, what are the different properties we have created in the electric field lines and how they are related to charge, how they are related to strength, how they are related to direction. This properties one by one we will keep on studying.